Joe, we didn't put in a lot of work tonight. Yeah. yeah. But I, 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 I felt like there was no way in the hell we could avoid this story. Because this is one of the most outrageous stories I've ever seen in all my years of watching sports. All my years of watching sports. I've never seen a situation like this, ever. When you got supposedly a fake team trick the biggest media conglomerate in sports, ESPN, and get their ass on my TV. I ain't never seen that like it. Yeah. I ain't never seen that like it. I don't know if I ever seen that like it again. I hope I never see anything like it again. This shit was crazy, Joe. It was dangerous, too. It was very dangerous. It, you know why it was dangerous? Because goddamn IMG Academy over there, what the <laughs> fuck is that? What the hell is that? That's like an AAU team in, for basketball doubling as like a high school. Like everybody on their fucking team finna be in the pros. Oh, yeah. Like that shit's crazy. Like I just read an article about uh, the situation and the guy who wrote this article and me, you know, Give him his credit. I don't, I don't want to be one of them ones. You know what I'm talking about? You want to no, give no. them proper, proper credit and shit. But this guy was talking about, he was getting that IMG. He got he got that bitch from Sycamore. He was like, they ain't doing none of these other teams that try to play on TV ain't doing. The fact that they try to uh, uh, make money off these kids. You try to get a bunch of kids on here and you get them on TV and you try to basically pedal them to these collegiate programs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that make a lot of sense. That's what IMG is. IMG across the board, bro. Yep. They got guys in this class that's going to go to college. They got guys <laughs> in the next class that's going to go to college. I'm talking about highly ranked kids flooded with ESPN 300 kids. Yeah. Out there against some guys that look like they need to be playing flag football against us out there at TJ House. Where they grown man? I don't know. See, that's real shit. I'm I, I'm <laughs> trying to find something. Cause if so, if anybody out there were grown, that in that article I just read, he claimed older teens and grown men. I need to find something definitively to tell me that, bro. It was some grown ass men out there, some semi pro right. ballers getting their ass whipped by them teenagers. Now, them boys gonna be in the league now, right? Right, right, no, no, but it also shows that some of these cats that think that they ain't get a shot and they want to hold on to football, they need to let that shit go. Obviously, no, you couldn't have made it to the league, cuz I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't have much to say about this one. I'm going to pull my TJ hat on right here. I don't have much to say. But I know when he said it, he didn't know what a lot to say. I really don't have much to say because you know what? I actually think ESPN. Hold on, Joe. Hold on, Joe. Talk to you. You're not going to tell me that ESPN did not do their due diligence of a team that's coming out the blue mm -hmm. and they let them trick them. There's no... ESPN is the one that gives you... They, they got all the reporters, right? Now, any, oh, anything about the NFL, NBA, or any of these players... They give us the scoop, the stuff, breaking news. You got food? You. you By you a high school food. team. You you got food. Uh, so, Come uh, on, man. Uh, uh, online charter school food. Yeah. Nah. The they, worldwide they leading sports. They knew. I'm going to tell you, I, I think ESPN is hurting for views right now. I think they hurting fives right now. They knew. They knew. You're not going to come in. No. No. I'm, I'm not going to believe it. 
No, I won't. No. Y'all got your views. Y'all got folks tuning back to you. Then y'all was able to push the whole Stephen A., Michael Irvin. You got it. Cool. Come on, but don't. Okay. Don't play me for Boo Boo the Fool, though. ESPN got tricked, man. That's what they're trying to tell. They're trying okay. to say that somebody, some, outside, some outside agency hired was a uh, books to games for them. Like this shit, this shit crazy. It's gonna need a documentary. It's gonna need a documentary. And, uh, and supposed okay, to well, be it, held to account okay. on it. So, so if, if if you're gonna tell me they got fooled, right? Shouldn't ESPN take a L? A big L. Big so L, right? They're they're commentators from jump was saying shit like uh this team is a mystery we don't have this guy on our, on our roster <laughs> like the shit was like 30 Why, to he 38 the, the shit was 30 to none joe and then they went to a long rain delay no, no, no. when they when they came back the commentator gonna say it's like, like it might have been 21 then 30 something like that when they mm -hmm. came back from the rain delay, the commentator gonna say, "I'm surprised they came back and, and and kept going with this." Like they knew there was some fuck shit. Yo, commentator, a commentator job is to make me enjoy the game and keep me watching because y'all right. gotta pay the advertisers. You know, people buy ads to be run right. during certain game. You supposed to want to keep me watching. It's like the Maybe. commentators were trying to say, "Man, we don't want to be watching this shit out damn." They shit. did not have those. Players on their on that on that paper, the dog guys were thirty eight and thirty seven years old. They were getting trucked out. Motherfucker going I'm to Penn State. Penn State got a running back that was out there trucking some grown men in. Hey man, this is sad. This let, let's just call it for what it is. This it's is sad. Very sad. They better hurry up and have a a, a Monday night NFL game on ESPN because uh, yeah, this is sad. They gotta get this shit back together because this this is not a good look. But we keep telling y'all here, we keep telling y'all here, y'all keep on watching ESPN and FS1, and y'all just think because they own these big ass stations, they know what they talking about, it, they know what they doing. Fuck no, Bishop Sycamore just showed you. Bishop Sycamore just showed you that these boys is out here doing whatever. Shit, I'm gonna try. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go to goddamn ESPN and, and see if I can match up with Steven A and whoop his ass in the debate. Then I'm right. gonna go over to the FS1 and try to see if I can get on and, and whoop Skip ass in the debate. And then whoop I'm gonna whoop Skip ass about Tom Brady. Then I'm gonna whoop Shannon ass about Michael Jordan. You know they letting in the, they just letting these motherfuckers on. I'm more qualified to do that shit than Bishop Sycamore was to get out there and play some football. Well, hold on now, cause you know Skip and Shannon gonna say look. What Skip gonna say? I no longer work for ESPN. Um, if ESPN taking L's like that, I can only imagine what FS1 would do. But that's we're talking about the so-called worldwide leading sports, Joe. Worldwide leading. That's what they said. That's what they claim. That's their tagline. I didn't come up with that. So basically you're saying if sports. the worldwide leader can get fooled, these other stations have no chance at all. They shouldn't. But hey, ESPN going outside right now. <laughs> this shit ridiculous. And in these motherfuckers out here, I don't want to see no Bishop Sycamore. I don't want to see no IMG Academy. I want to see this shit. They building right. these schools. They making these fake ass schools just to try to goddamn put these guys. They making football factories. And, the, and these, they're these just being. These are factories. It, it, as you said, the, the guys at IMG. You know, a lot of them will be in the NFL. Mm -hmm. This is dangerous for them, though. We know football all it takes is one injury, man. And you Come putting up, them on hurt. TV, you putting them on TV, so you know they're gonna try to, you know, give it there. They're gonna put some extra on it. Hey, man. You know, I was just about to get into a little spill with all that, but look. I'm just saying, I, I started thinking about the whole Pee Wee football and all that. 
that's just a little early for these young boys to be going full speed with pass on doing it starting at eight seven eight and then you doing it all the way through but these folks making money off of it that at that early too i know you know what i'm saying it's I going know. that early with these leagues like i saw the friday night tyke shit and how they doing it in texas with this shit like these motherfuckers yeah. it's some great lessons to be learned from football in general but like the yeah. way this shit is being passed i'm glad that the college kids got the name image and likeness shit at least right so they're gonna put their bodies on the line they at least can get something off of it but what, what we seeing with img academy and what we just saw with bishop sycamore it, it got to be some shit that they bishop sycamore trying to do trying to legitimize their brand maybe they want to be an img academy type awesome. type of school they want to be awesome. the img academy of ohio i they really need to look up the origin of this name though bishop sycamore like the centurions too bishop sycamore centurions something like that that's what they are okay all this shit flaw as fuck, man it, it, this is some <laughs> of the craziest shit. i need to see the documentary asap america y'all tell us what y'all think about this whole bishop sycamore bullshit. put it on something my kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel follow me across all social media platforms like the videos and share them did i forget anything and turn on the post notifications y'all heard them and also visit statement tees llc.com and shop with us that's statement tees every t-shirt you wear makes a statement